he would just feel that pain and think, oh, these people, they've hurt me so deeply. And anyone who's been following Blue October knows that a lot of their music is about his depression, his pain, his suffering. And he has a history of mental illness and depression. This 14-day mental health series is to honor those whose lives have been touched by mental illness. And it's in response to a friend of mine who recently died of suicide. I wish to give hope to those who are struggling because there is always hope. Just this last weekend, I saw one of my most favorite bands in the world, Blue October, in concert with my two oldest kids. And what blew me away was there was a point between songs where Justin Furstenfeld, the lead singer, he started talking to us about how hurt he'd been in the past, how much pain he felt, and how he would just feel that pain and think, oh, these people, they've hurt me so deeply. And anyone who's been following Blue October knows that a lot of their music is about his depression, his pain, his suffering. And he has a history of mental illness and depression. And as he talked about this, he then said, but you know what I've learned? I've learned to forgive them. He said, it wasn't them, it was me. Forgive them. And then afterwards, and this is the hardest part. Forgive yourself. He continued, you have one life. One. There's so much wisdom in those words. And I have found that to be true. Because I used to suffer because of the things that I thought others had caused me. And it wasn't until I learned to forgive them. And to forgive myself for the things that contributed to the situation that I was able to find peace. And later in the concert, Justin went on to say that sometimes he wakes up in the morning and he thinks, oh, do I have to go through another 24 hours? And he said, I force myself to get up and put one foot on the floor and then I forced my other foot to join that foot on the floor. And then he says, I put my hands together and I do something my mom taught me. I say, God, thank you for another day. And thank you for my life. And thank you for my children. And thank you for my sobriety. Sometimes it feels like there's nothing to get up for, but there always is. So think about what you can be grateful for today. And how can you forgive yourself today? And who can you forgive? Or start the process toward forgiving. Not for them, but for you, so that you can have peace. I never thought I'd say that seeing a rock band in concert was like a religious experience, but this was. Sometimes people who have been through the most have the most profound wisdom. But it doesn't always have to be learned that way. We can learn from others as much as we can learn from our own difficulties in life. And after playing an amazing, high-energy, profound experience of a concert, the lead singer of Blue October then spent the rest of the night signing merchandise for anybody who wanted it. It was a long line, and it was definitely worth the wait. My oldest daughter when we got to the counter, told him that this is her fifth show and her mom's and her brother's first. And he turned to me, shook my hand, and said, thank you for coming, Mom. 
then he signed our merch and my daughter told them she enjoyed seeing him in the movie section eight and they discussed that for a minute and i told him that i wish the drummer his brother jeremy had been there for my son to meet being that he's a drummer and he took the time to tell my son to keep it up and to never give up on his dream and they talked click tracks and time signatures and he was so supportive of my son's goals and dreams and it was just profoundly powerful and i thought how often do we think we're too busy or we're too exhausted or we just don't have it in us to do that thing that would mean so much to someone else. And sometimes what seems small to us might seem so big to someone else. I encourage you to be more kind to others, especially the people who seem insignificant or annoying. But I especially encourage you to be more kind to yourself because I believe the way we treat ourselves has a lot to do with how we show up for our relationship with others. Remember to forgive yourself. Remember to take care of yourself. Be there in a supportive way for yourself. Thanks for listening to the Joyful Family Podcast. If you've enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, share, and leave a review. Follow us on Instagram at Vonna Bird Family Coach and Roland Bird Author. Learn more about our work at VonnaBird.com. Stay tuned. We're looking forward to sharing more with you next week.